I saw Jacksepticeye play this, and I wanted to play it, so yeah, now we're gonna play it, and I'm really excited. It's just one player. It's just me. It's just me. Ooh! Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with this guy. Name. No, it's not gonna be yellow. Oz. Custom name. We're gonna do a custom name. Um, so apparently Oz is the personification of fear. So we're gonna call him Azori. It's Fearin, Japanese. I don't know. I feel like he would be a Japanese kid. Actually, Azori has excellent handwriting and even even more excellent grammar and we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge the monster prom i remember clearly three weeks were left and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our eight most charismatic classmates miranda vanderbilt a sweet mermaid princess who is as cute as she was genocidal. That's a no. <laughs> Swipe right. Polygeist. 22? <laughs> 22? <laughs> a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Damien Lave. 21. <laughs> he sounds like he's charging up in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Yes, yes, I will take her. Yes, yes, swipe left, swipe left. Zoe, ah, that's it. <laughs> An elegant cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl. I feel like there's something there. That's probably nothing. We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Ooh, I'm so excited! Welcome to Monster Prom's stupid pop- stupidest pop quiz ever! <laughs> All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. A distant relative you didn't even know has passed. You have to attend their funeral, but you're super hooked been watching the seventh season of The Office. What excuse do you make to avoid the social obligation? I've actually never seen The Office. <laughs> Oh, no! Okay. Um, the trick to good lying is to being subtle and telling half-truths. Um, try to convince your family that you were a flamingo along. <laughs> no! Just don't go! Y yes! D just don't go! So charming. I'm really not. <laughs> I'm really not. An alien race invades Earth, and they tell you the world's fate depends on how you answer the following question. How do you like your coffee? Uh, alien friendly? My friend, my favorite type of coffee is vodka. I don't, I don't drink coffee at all. I, this sounds like something. A, this sounds like, sounds like something a goth would say. I like my coffee as bitter and dark as my own soul, which isn't bitter or dark at all. I'm pretty nice. <laughs> I scratch that. Scratch that. Uh, but uh, the first half did sound like it. Um. Alien friendly, I guess? So smart. Oh. Oh, well, why, thank you. I actually am pretty smart. What would the, be the most appealing in a love partner? Tentacles. No? <laughs> you know? Um, no? Please? No? Um, sharp wits. I do like a girl with sharp wits. A very sundry personality. Oh, this would... All the degenerates get 100%. Uh, I'm gonna say the truth. I would go with sharp wits. Okay, no. All right. If you're a D&D &D character, what would be your class? Moneymaker, gun haver, automation 
Party Smith fan. Yes. Uh, I do make my fair share of fanfics. No. Oh. Well, I, I think of them. I don't make them, but like, still somewhere along those lines. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So you got smarts, boldness, creativity, charm, fun, and money. I have five dollars. I actually have four in my wallet currently, so <laughs> this is accurate. All right. Um, what do I want to say? Uh, I want to sit over here. Zoe and Calculester. Calculester is enjoying a nice, quiet lunchtime charge while Zoe interrupts his rendezvous with a question. Hey, yeah. Hi, Calculester. I'm making a quiz so students can figure out which spooky high, high vending machine they are. You're friends with the vending machines, right? I am friends with every person, friend Zoe. But like, are the vending machines people? That's your friend. That you're friends with? Mm -hmm. That's a rather insulting question. <laughs> it does sound a bit insulting. Let me be honest here. I'ma be honest! I'ma be honest! <laughs> oh, so vending machines have feelings? Of course they have feelings. Mm -hmm. Which feelings? <laughs> He's just like, no comment. None. I do not know. I am a terrible friend. Ooh. Oh, man. Don't be sad. We can figure this out together for my quiz. But how can we talk to the vending machines about their feelings? Um, Use pure logic, Cal. Vending machines seem to give away things when you put money into them. So pure, put coins in and ask them about their feelings. So I got their manuals online. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna look up the manuals online. Did someone say obsessive online research? Yes, it was Osori. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Japanese. I don't know. <laughs> Let's do it. Calculator, pull up the manuals. Manuals acquired. Opening section two twenty three D. Discriminating your vending machine's mood. It says here that there is an analog switch on the back of each vending machine that sets its emotional state. Let's go look. Huh, looks like they're all setting to crush despair. <laughs> Why are they set to crushing despair? I don't know, but that's hilarious. Mm -hmm. They seem to be the factory default. Should we change it? Better not to tamper with factory defaults. Okay, hey Azori, as long as you're doing exhaustive online research, wanna go do a Wikipedia hole with me? Sure. There's not a hole, you wouldn't go down with Zoe. You start at vending machine emotional states and end up at dark rituals specifically involving cabbage? What? Alright. Hmm. Where to next? Um. I feel like I need to up the fun a little bit. Yeah. Let's go outdoors. That dang during recess, you saw a half hour rave that goes full crazy! You have no idea how it escalated so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. You know, nothing much. I did dance at my prom once. Well, not my prom, like, it was a middle school prom, but you get the point. Uh, people were recording I never saw on social media. <sighs> Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences may distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party! You gain plus two fun. Awesome. You look up to find Liam and Scott waving their phones in each other's faces. <gasps> like, what? What about this one? Hmm. Nah. I'd definitely swipe left on that one, bro. But this is my best picture! But it's not even a picture of you. It's just a photo of a stop sign wearing a top hat. <laughs> Why? Um, it's artistic? I don't know. Maybe if it was a picture of a fire hydrant. Well, it's not as if your pictures are in any way superior. What are you even doing in this one? Uh, smiling. <laughs> See? Unacceptable. Uh, what? But I like smiling. Are you sure it's wrong? Of course I am. Look, I'll even bring in an impractical third party. You, you're renowning for your Tinder success. What's your secret? I don't just smile with my face. I also draw a smiley face on my bare chest. 
uh, I shock and amaze them with my custom Instagram filter. Sepia Mustache Enigma. What? Um. Also, draw a smiley face on my bare chest. I wouldn't draw a smiley face on my bare chest, but I'm gonna go with it. Whoa, dude, that's like six times as many smiles. <laughs> Two, it's two times as many. <laughs> Bro, who has time for math at a time like this? I gotta go find a sharp. Uh, that is technically correct. You wish you were as easy to please as Scott. You gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. Awesome! The class of learning are the least of your worries. You and Scott are locked in an epic Pokemon duel against Damien and Zoe. My Jared Gurgly uses murder on your Gregory Phillips. It's super effective. Oh yeah? Well, Martin Phillips uses Gregory's life insurance policy. He's gonna gain so much money. <laughs> Not if Alicia Stevens has anything to say about it. <laughs> this is funny. Oh uh, no, Martha is weak against auditory type Pokemon. I'm about to encounter to see what your Wayne Dworkins. <laughs> but that's when Leonard decides to do what he does best and bust in and run, ruin your fun. <laughs> Damien, Zoe, Scott, and Missouri are playing Pokemon's class. Oh, you look like Perry after Hollywood. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's go to the library. Hey, stranger. We'll get to my little shop. Buy some stuff. I have stuff that will boost your stats. Stuff that will lead you into stupid new adventures. Even stuff that might be much needed at some very specific moments. So, take a look. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fake tattoo. <laughs> why would I want... Tell me, why would I want that? A motivational poster. Creativity. Happy little accident. <laughs> Go to the bathrooms. Might as well. The day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. <laughs> you gain two plus bonus. I've never actually skipped class, so. You're chilling with Zoe, watching her draw cute little chibi characters getting eaten by nightmare fluid. Oh, Leonardo slides in your... <laughs> Hey, your art's not bad for a girl. I might have a major opportunity for you. Oh, cool. As much as I hate your casual sexist... I love opportunities. What's up? I'm looking for someone to do a custom draw me drawing for my YouTube channel. How ironic! It'll be me, but with sunglasses. My muscles are huge. You can tell from my facial hair that I'm right about everything. He's, he's not. He's not. He's awfully skinny. <laughs> hmm, yeah, I could probably do that. No guarantee that it will drive your viewers insane, though. <laughs> they go insane, then they weren't true fans to begin with. <laughs> Great, let's talk a little more about what you want, and then we can negotiate a price for the commission. Excuse me? Price? Exposed to my 284 YouTube subscribers isn't good enough for you? 284. I mean, I have 53, but, like, still. What? No? And that's just right now. By the end of this weekend, it could be at 285 or 286. Oh man, this is exactly what I go through. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, it's 52. It's gonna be 54 in a few weeks. And from there, it's just a few orders of magnitude until I hit 600. Oh God, this is me in a nutshell. <laughs> Sit with Zoe and Damien. Damien seems angry, but in a low energy way, which is very weird for him. Feel the urge to check. Don't talk to me. I have a cold. I feel like crap. And I just want to drink my soap and murder someone. Uh, that's, that's not good on the last part. What's the adorable little cup you're drinking from? What? This cup is not adorable. It's a trophy that I took from the super buff dude after I killed him. Alright. <laughs> what if I say? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, maybe the buff dude was the number one son. <laughs> Before I <laughs> and took his soap mug. Shout out, don't look at me. <laughs> hmm, okay. Well, if you have no sentimental attachment to it, I guess you would sell to me for... 10,000? 
Yeah, right, like you have that much money. Mm. Dude, I was an elgic deity devouring souls for centuries. You think I never took their swag along the way? Give me the cup. No, it's mine. And you can't have it. Get away from it you with your tentacles in your mouth and your invasive questions. Why? Why? Why should I get away? Why? They could go on like this all lunch. Maybe you jump in and curry flavor favor with one of them. Leave Damien for could sell or give this cup away because he's under a terrible curse that means he must keep it in his possession. It's nothing to do with parents and love. <laughs> yes! Ooh, I'm figuring out what you're putting down, sorry. Yeah, I guess you're right. Damien is a pretty classy demon son. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. No, I heard that you were. I heard that your dads don't even like you. No, that's a lie. My dads love me. My dad loves me so much. My dads love me so much that they had dwarven slaves in the sixth circle of hell. Forged me this. And then they gave it to me because they think I'm the number one son. And I'll treasure it forever. Oh man, it would have driven me absolutely insane not to know whether that was his cup or not. <laughs> oh, I love when we get to see a glimpse into Damien's soft side. And hopefully you'll get a glimpse of Zoe's soft side on prom night. Yeah, no way that sounded so skeezy. Take it back. <laughs> Pretend I said something nice about our favorite electric cutie pie. Instead, prom! Yes. Guess a gym? Yeah, let's go to gym. A day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Oh, I've already had two this week, so <laughs> I'm good on that part. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit. This would actually be me. I would actually be telling a speech. So, yeah. Leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. <laughs> I don't want to brag. You gain plus two charm. Awesome. It seems like Zoe is practically blushing magenta as she sidles on to you. So, listen to Zori. Hanging out at school and getting into wacky shenanigans is great and everything, but it's also so randomly absurd and absurdly random. I just want to have some kawaii date time. So if we do something super, super cute and adorable together like a nice little picnic? <laughs> what? I mean, I still want it to be personal to me, you know, so I want to have the picnic in a pocket dimension nightmare void that holds a special place in my heart. It's just a super cute, super cozy... <laughs> A spare realm devoid of any sins and unreachable to normal minds. So I like to hang out there and watch anime on my phone between classes. Oh, oh that's nice. Anyways, want to meet me there in a few? I'll bring us some cute little picnic snacks. You try to think of a way to keep from losing your sanity and getting your soul fractured. See ya in a few. Yes! Yes, 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 I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Aw, uh -huh, that sounds super adorable. Except for the losing your mind part. But you know, a good way to fix that. Um, Purchase a foil anti-void hat for the very trustworthy dude who sells stuff in the dark alley behind the school. What? Grab a cup of coffee, some nuts, some blueberries, and scar scarf them down. All food well known for being good for your brain. Ah, what to do? I mean, I'm not. Uh, let me do this one. You stop by the school snack shop, which is a thing that exists but is rarely mentioned because what? You think you know every single location at Spooky High? You don't. You get a half crust machito triple salt chow latte. Some trial mix and blueberries and shove them in the old food hole. Your mouth, in other words. Immediately, you can feel the magic working. Hey there, Zori. You ready to head to the despair realm? Yes. Sure hope so. So he takes your hand. You can feel your heart pound as your pulse race. She leads you onward. So here it is. I hope you like the atmosphere. Yeah, no, it's not bad. I mean, not the atmosphere. Like the vibe. I mean, I hope you like that as well. It's I just mean like literally how devoid of oxygen the actual atmosphere here is. Whether or not this would have been a problem for you normally, it certainly isn't today. Not after that healthy and energizing snack. 
I always use a healthy snack to start the day off right, and decimate obstacles from geometry tests to getting impaled with a spear, which is equally likely at this school. Are you having fun? You seem like you're having fun, right? Like, you're having fun? <laughs> Oh, this is so terrible! Ah. <laughs> I mean, you're not shrieking with agony, and your eyes haven't melted off your face, and you're still speaking coherently, so that's pretty good for this dimension. It's a good baseline for any day, really. You and Zoe have a wonderful and super cutesy time drinking your sodas to the sound of the wind echoing in your ears, eerily like the shrieks of the dying. Not weird at all. Totally not. Seems like your healthy snack wasn't quite healthy enough to keep your brain from any chance whatsoever because you're now inexplicably highly empathetic to the feelings of records. But it was still everything Zoe dreamt of, specifically that you survived it, and you gained plus two charm with raccoons, which bleeds on over into your regular monster life too, along with plus one fun. Awesome! Yes! The monster prom draws near. Oh! You already know. Oh, I'm kind of nervous though. Okay. Zoe in. Oh, please see it. Is this a bad fic? Okay. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> 